This is episode one, Service Pros and the CRM. This is all where it starts, by entering a lead, and then hopefully winning the business through an estimate that you have created inside of Service Pros, and along with following the lead as you follow the sales journey. So I'll probably start with the sales journey that allows Service Pros to keep you intact. So the sales journey starts with a lead, and this is a lead that I currently have in my system. And this data was all hand typed already. You can also use an API if need be. You can see that when you come down, we, we, we follow activities. And we've had a couple here, one by myself and one by my staff where you can see he called ready and then he's called back. So there is, a, there is a, a way to follow the lead and keep updated. As far as the estimate goes, we're able to create multiple estimates. And then once the homeowner picks, for me on this one, I'm actually gonna duplicate an estimate that he had done earlier. And I'll just type in the lot number There and found it right there. And I will duplicate that lead. All the parts and pieces. This builder uses just about the same amount of, he uses the same blueprint over and over. You can see there I was able to apply sales tax and hit update. At that point it reset itself. I can just go back into the lead. Again, the activities are still there. You could follow the lead, where you got it, where the source, and for me, I just have one location. So this will let, will let you keep up as well. Back to the estimate screen. I created the estimate, and at this point, we can add uh, pictures or a video. You would do this from uh, your mobile, but in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and add a picture. And you'll see how easy it is to view that. But the picture would most likely come from in the field. So now I go back to notes, uh, view images, and there it is. So that was a PDF. At that point, after you've entered everything and you've decided that you've earned the business, you're going to be able to activate that customer. And that's how quick it is to get over to the other side, uh, make it into a work order. Before doing that, there's a few other things that you're able to do. You can do a video. Um, it does have checklist. If you're trying to to follow the lead as, as well. Uh, you can update an owner. Uh, one of the services that is really good is this button right here with this phone number. We want the builder to be, for lack of a better term, uh, the parent, and then Lot 18, Lakeview Village, uh, to be the child. What this verify button does, it does tell you that now you're gonna to add to a multiple location for care and build homes. And that way we have one customer uh, with all his jobs underneath it. It does allow uh, what type of lead it is. It does give you a due date on when you'd like to follow up with things as well. When you open up one of the acknowledgement buttons, it does give you other options. Uh, I, I do use the um, We do use the email. You can actually schedule time and date so it shows up in your in the, your grid, which I showed earlier. Uh, but you can send an email reminder as well to someone, and that would allow you to uh, communicate a little bit quicker, maybe, if need be.